Uh, what's going on guys? This is Tyler with Freedom Breeder. Thanks for checking out our video today. Just, unfortunately, Jesse had to be out of town today. He's got some family stuff going on. Um, but we're gonna check out a few more snakes today. These ones have not gone up on Morph Market yet. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Spider all they want. So this first one is a female spinner blast scaleless head. I just love how the scaleless head gives you that real unique head because it's always different. You never know if it's gonna be completely scaleless head or if it's just gonna be a couple scales right in the middle. This one's got it real big right there on the nose. A little bit further back on the head as well. But it just cleans up the pattern a little bit, even being Codom just makes it a real clean pattern, especially with spinners. You end up getting that tightened pattern on the pinstripe. You get a brighter color with that pastel, and then you get that scaleless head in there, and you just see how crisp all the lines become. It's a really nice snake. Love when they get the high whites up there too. That's always really nice. Yeah, it's a nice snake. But yeah, this one is probably around 800 grams, so she'll be ready to go real soon. And that one you can expect posted up in the next few weeks or so. Next one we got here is a Mojave Leopard Coral Glow 50% Hep Pied, and it's a male, so he is ready to go. You get that reduced pattern or reduced speckling with the Mojave because the Bell Gene. Any of the Bell complexes will do that. Then you get a little bit more browned out because the darkening with the Mojave. Real nice snake. And you got that chance of it being pied. Het pied. Let's see if we can check out his dome here. That blue, the blue, you can really see Did the, it hit the blue? Oh yeah. Couldn't tell because the lighting in here. You can see it in the camera screen. usually picks it up a little oh, bit yeah, better. Got it. You, you might have mentioned like the, the, his blue eyed. Yeah, that's a very nice snake. Like I said, ready to go. Um, should be up on Morph Market soon, and it'll also be fifty percent off. Real well behaved snake too. Male Enchi Hidden Gene Woma Odium. Don't see a lot of odium. I know that Nerd works with it a lot, but I don't see it a lot of other places. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it. But I love the uh, Hidden Gene Woma with the Enchi. It always reminds me of a tiger shark pattern. Not so much in this one, but it is a very nice snake. This one's ready to go as well. Like you can put this to females this season. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a nice snake. Female spider. Possible Enchi, possible Yellow Belly, possible Lucifer, possible Coral Glow. And I would definitely say this is Coral definitely Glow. Cool. I yeah. Say, I will say it's definitely Enchi. Yeah, Enchi as well. You can see it in the head stamp. Got those widened eye bands. That is a really pretty snake. Again, love the high whites that you get. Gets compounded a little bit with that Coral Glow. Some of them will have the white sides, some of them don't. Yeah, Let's see if we can check out that belly. Oh wow, you got some striping also going down through the belly as well. Yeah, super nice snake. She should be ready to go in maybe a year. Give or take a couple months. Super pastel, pos yellow belly, het exanthic female. And she's probably sitting around a thousand grams. So she'll be ready to go soon. But if you look at this, the color palette on it's just almost exanthic. You can't even really tell that this thing's het. I'm assuming when it hatched out, it had a lot more color to it. But yeah, that is a really, really monotone color snake. There's no pos hets here. Get some belly going on there. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, this one, um, not posted yet, but you can definitely believe this one will get posted up. Also 50% off, so keep an eye out for that, especially if you like the uh, Xanthic stuff. This one's a real good representation of it. Black Pastel and Cinnamon, Black Pewter, and Bongo. Love how much the pattern busies up with the Bongo. I'm just gonna knock you down there a little bit, sorry bud. Cranky, in shed, can't see nothing, but this color on this snake still looks awesome, even though it's deep in blue. Maybe next time we uh, shoot a video, we can have Brian do a follow-up on this one after it sheds, because that is really nice. And this one is also female. She's probably sitting around 600. So she'd need a little bit of time before you could breed her, but 
definitely a head start on bongo stuff if you're trying to get up on that. Alrighty guys, that's it. Thanks for checking it out. Maybe next time we'll uh, have Jesse here to be able to do some videos with you guys, but otherwise we'll see you guys at the shows this year. Just uh, check on our website if you do want to know what shows we're going to as far as which ones we offer free shipping. Um, we're only going to two shows this year. And as soon as the truck fills up, Jesse's cutting off orders. So if you want to get on those, be sure to double check. And if you want to take advantage of that, make sure you get your orders in as soon as possible. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down at the bottom and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload a video. It's a very nice snake. Yeah, I'm your I'm your consolation host for Freedom Breeder. I try. I work customer service, man. If you can't tell, I was trying to make my words sound better. Oh man. Uh, well, there's these two main characters, and every time they're together, they always do this like theme song catchphrase when they come in, and just like it's Cusco. I've been surprised at how many people ask. How, how behaved they are. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, it's a snake. <laughs> handle it and it'll be docile. Don't handle it and it'll be a not docile. <laughs> oh, cranky.